Het is je goed vol een buikprogram en kijk net hoe mooi like tafelberg hier in die moederstad. Well, you know what, it's Wednesday and now time for us to turn our attention to our finances. Exactly, time for another installment of the hashtag My Money Story. And this morning we've got a man that is really a household name when it comes to the hip-hop industry. He takes wiki 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 to a whole nother level with a career that spanned three decades. I'm talking about DJ Ready D. So it's once again time for hashtag my money story with Expresso where each week we sit down with a famous person who has made a great success in their chosen field to learn more about their relationship with money and the lessons that they've learned along the way. Now today we are joined by the legend of the local music scene, DJ Ready D, oh, yeah. one of Good Up FM's best loved hosts. He's a music producer, he's a stunt car driver as well and he's been spinning the decks for more than three decades. But how well does he spin his finances? <laughs> oh. Chewing his nails, there it is. <laughs> DJ, you really do love it. Thank you, my friend. Thank Thanks you so much me. for joining us. Grant, yeah, how are you so doing, much. brother? Oh, good, bro. Cool, Always man. Good to be back. I love having this man in studio. Very cool. Spinning the decks for a stunt car driver. Man, you've done it all. I absolutely love it. But what's your earliest memory when it comes to money? My earliest memory of money, though, seeing money and being curious about money, was probably my dad's savings jar. He used Whoa. to keep this thing in his cupboard. You know, it was stacked right next to the bro cream, the brushes and all the other goodies that goes. <laughs> you know, with what dads keep in the cupboards. And, uh, you know, one day I had the opportunity to, 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 to really take this jar, put it into my hands, and I was really intrigued by the, by the weight of it. Wow, Looking okay. at all those coins, and in between there was these notes, and I was trying to figure out what is the story all about over here, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and um, growing up, we normally get the, the, the talk about saving, you know, you gotta have education, you gotta get the job, you gotta become a teacher, you gotta become a lawyer, you know, it was normally those types of yeah, chats. Yeah, yeah. So that was my first encounters. But I love that because from an early age, I mean, dad set an example, a positive example for you. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Um, my first money that I actually earned though, you know, I must have been about seven years old. One of my dad's friends used to come and visit on a regular basis and he always used to send me to the shop. And I was used to, you know, run to the <laughs> shop for him on a regular basis and this guy used to sort me out. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here's your reward, here's your reward. And I needed to get this car, you know, that was on the highest shelf in the shop. And that's how I practically um, gathered my money. Wow, After a couple man. of trips to the shop, it must have been payday or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I made sure that I do over enough trips because this guy just kept on giving me <laughs> tips. And that's how I, 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 bought, I bought my first little toy car. I love that. Yeah. Very, very cool. So entrepreneurship from seven years <laughs> from old. Seven man. years old, sure. man. I wish I had uncles like that, man. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, we all deserve an uncle like that. That's the money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but, but listen, I mean, you've, you've obviously lived your life now, you've done so many things. What would you say is the hardest financial lesson that you've learned to date? Well, I think for me, um, if I track my, my, my history and the way I've actually grown up, you know, we didn't, we weren't fortunate really mm -hmm. to, to, to receive the sound financial advice that came very, very late in my career, late in my life. And that caused me to, to, to make some really, really bad business decisions. You know, the one, some, uh, you know, a deal went south. Mm -hmm. I lost lots of money. And I entrusted people that I didn't know to handle my financial mm. affairs as well, you know. And uh, it, it took me to a point where I had to go way down the ladder, right down to the beginning again. It practically took me back, say, 10 to 15 years, sure. you know. Mm. I had to go sure. back down the ladder and just bite the bullet and work my way from the bottom to the top again, again yeah. and work with, with, with somebody that, that I could trust. Sure. Yeah. So, yeah, so those relationships eh, are fundamental for building a sound financial future. But, you know, a credit to, to really that, you know, starting from the bottom and working your way back up, most people just give up, you know. But that's the thing. And look how beautiful that story is. Yeah, it's like it, it, the, you're never at the end of your rope, you know. You can really make it back, yeah. No, absolutely. <laughs> and I think that, uh, uh, once again, the relationships and also being around people that truly believe in you and support you, know, yeah. you know, that support you as well. And I think a big thing is also in terms of how you project yourself, um, mm. the, the integrity and the principle and the consistency, you know, in terms of who you are and what it, uh, what it is that you do within your career as well. People normally, normally respect that as well. So thankfully, a lot of the clients that have booked me over the years, they were constantly, mm. you know, supporting mm. me and making sure Brilliant. that I get onto the next event, the next gig, the next show and all these types of things and that's really helped me you know to sustain myself and keep my head above yeah, water. Once again it's interesting 
interesting kind sure. of road we're taking this morning with the financial mm -hmm. because it comes down to relationships with yeah. people you know, to ensure you also your financial freedom. We're going to talk about that a little bit later on, also find out what is, uh, the, is, what is it that uh, DJ Red DD still wants to learn when it comes to his financial matters. Yeah. It's my feel-good practice show. Unbelievable stuff. So now, time to get back into what can be an incredibly useful discussion for you as well. While we're focusing, yes, on our celebrities' financial well-being, Ready D has already asked questions that resonate with me, and I have a feeling they're going to resonate with you as well. So let's continue with his My Money Story. It's once again time for our hashtag My Money Story on your Feel Good Breakfast show. We're back with our certified financial planner, Grant Fonsell, also our special guest this morning, DJ Ready D. Lovely to have the Jensen Studio. Thank you very much for joining us once again. Awesome, thank um, you. Sound advice a little bit earlier on. He spoke about the fact that, you know, throughout his career, he learned a lot of lessons. You know, he had to go back, you know, in terms of money matters 10, 15 years ago. But it's all about the relationship that he formed sure. with people throughout the course of his life. So is there anything at this part of your life in terms of the financial management kind of system in your life that you're still unsure of, that you still want to know more about? Yeah, absolutely. I think the one thing that you always want to know is how you can actually make your money grow. And also being, in fact, um, if I'm looking at where I am once again, age and um, getting the, 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 the proper financial advice, how can, is there a window for me to make investments, let's say, on a small scale, mm. and ensure that that grow, you know? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So I think if I can summarize your, your question, it's how do I utilize my money in the best possible way to get the best growth, really, right? Absolutely. Sure. So I think, I think in, a, in a case like yourself, which is really interesting, is, as an entrepreneur, investing in yourself, you must probably get a really good return, right? So... Uh, you want to take a good portion of your money, invest it into yourself so you can get that sort of return. But at the same time, you want to have the fundamentals right uh, when it comes to investing. You want to have your retirement savings set aside. That must be treated totally separate to your goals investing mm -hmm. sort of fund that you're wanting to do. And if you can get those principles right from an early stage, in your own mind, you don't create this false illusion. Okay. Because that false illusion is what catches out everyone. You know, if you're starting to save for a time and people think, ah, oh, you know, that's my savings. Yeah. But you know what? That's not your savings. That's just for retirement. So for one day when you can't earn an income anymore, yeah. um, that's what you're going to rely on. The savings fund, that's a total different fund. That's what you're going to use to achieve certain goals, to buy equipment, to buy whatever you're wanting to buy at a later stage, whether it's in a year, two, five, or ten years' time. To answer your question in short, I think you want to make sure that you've got your different segments right, your different baskets ready for the right things, yeah, and don't yeah. mix the baskets up. Okay. So going back to that old f uh, philosophy, don't put all your eggs in, in one, one basket. basket. That's what you're kind of wanting to do. You want to make sure your retirement basket's sorted out, your investment mm -hmm. basket for goals are sorted out, and your entrepreneur basket's also sorted out. Well, you know? Awesome. Thank you very much. Yeah. Makes, make, so, makes sense to me. Because, yeah, I mean, I'm guilty of just, um, you know, kind of mixing and putting everything into one in basket. One pot, yeah. And you're extracting and spending, you know, from yeah. the one pot. Um, little to know that everything else, you know, is kind of dropping in that basket. Yeah. So, sure, yeah, thank yeah. you very much. But I think it's like most people. I mean, most people nowadays. I mean, you just you're just grafting, you're just working, totally, you know. Yeah. So that's where your 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 thought patterns. You know, it's not not about splitting, you know, your money. And that's where somebody like you comes in. Yeah. You know, to to help guide and give advice like that, which I think is so incredibly important. Yeah. For guys like us. Yeah, I think today we're so busy, you know, yeah. and we're so busy doing what we're doing. And I think you yeah. alluded to that in the beginning the right um, yeah. people, the right relationships, but the word that you used, which I want to highlight, is support. We're not alone, and we can get yeah. the right support to build this yeah. uh, journey that we're on and to make but it this successful. Is, this is why I love these kind of discussions, because we're all on the same playing field, yeah. you know, all deal with yeah. the same kind of issues. doesn't matter who you are and what you do. You know, money is money, and yeah. you've got to learn to manage Absolutely. it. Absolutely. I mean, on my side, I've still got huge goals and aspirations as well. Outside of the DJing, I do a lot of um, uh, community develop, uh, development work and through youth and all these things as well. We are at the point now where we've registered as an MPO, so that's sort of the next mm -hmm. phase as well. So that's a new journey for me yeah. as well. You know, So in terms of where, I, where I'm at at the moment, of course, I need to be schooled. I need the education you know, on, on those fronts as well. And I guess it's also just part of the plan to constantly grow as well. Because mm -hmm. in terms of music and everything, else um, that you're busy with that do affect people in a certain way yeah. and if we can use that as a tool to, to, to potentially change lives that's kind of where we're at sure. and the advice we received was guy you gotta once again separate 
yeah. and you got to make sure that things are structured. So I'm kind of I'm in, in in a completely brand new space right now. Yeah, 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 so I'm, yeah. I'm not sure what I'm what I'm going to see down the line <laughs> from a financial yeah. aspect. Yeah. But as long as you have those structures in place, you're going to be all fine. But thank you very much for joining yeah. us this thank morning. Really much. appreciate it. Thank you for sharing your story with us. Yeah. As well. yeah. Yeah. Thank and you for the sound advice as well. There we have it, another hashtag my money story here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Ready D sharing his oh, experience yeah. with money. Catch up uh, with us soon with our next celeb and see what they have to say.